Tonight, not only do I have an empowering woman on the set, but also an artistic genius with my co-host, Bryce Carey. <laughs> we welcome Miss Beth Yarbrough. We're so excited to have you. Yes, Tonight. I'm really excited. And I have to say, because um, not only um, is you our guest, my first guest, as a matter of fact, you're my neighbor and for what I call mm -hmm. my Southern mother. Um, I mm -hmm. grew, came from Michigan, moved to North Carolina, and Beth was my next door neighbor. And I've learned a lot about the South from picking oh. snap peas in the garden to uh, uh -huh. a lot from you. So yeah. we're going to get a lot of your um, Southern background and artistic background and things sure. like that tonight and um, have a great conversation. Wonderful. So you, 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 you are exciting to me that he said that you first met her through some art lessons in her garage, well, right? Well, being well, neighbors, I remember the, seeing the art stuff going on over there. I actually met you through the hedge bushes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the story. Yeah. The first day you moved to town, yeah. um, you were maybe four years yeah, old. Yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how far back yeah. we go. But, you know, growing up in that neighborhood, mm -hmm. that was sort of like, a creative petri dish yeah. really. Mm -hmm. The neighborhood was full of um, musicians mm -hmm. and artists and people who just generally um, pursued that kind of thing yeah. and it was normal that the kids would have picked it up. We had what? This is Lincolnton, right? Mm -hmm. North yep. Carolina just right outside mm -hmm. Charlotte here yeah. and just um, a great environment. The kids were like the Peanuts gang. Yeah, oh. it really was. Oh, it was yeah. a great environment to grow up in. But And looking back now that you say that, I mean, there's so many of us kids that grew up in that that are mm -hmm. artistically doing stuff now. Yeah, and, um, you know, I think you play a big role in that. I, I remember Thank painting you. sheets on the backyard for props that we would Absolutely. do plays on our back deck. No, seriously. But enough we're about that. We, let, that, that. That could be. Yeah. But, and I'm sure been. there's some good, we want to talk about you, yeah. but we have to have you share at least <laughs> one childhood memory of this amazing man. All right, well, <laughs> All right, um, she's got a few. we know his expertise in the beauty field, yeah. but his brother was actually the first hairstylist in the family. <laughs> oh, this, this is true. This is I true. rounded the corner one day, um, Bryce was maybe seven, <laughs> and his brother was four or five, and my daughter was the same age, and there the three of them stood with a <laughs> pair of scissors in their hands. <laughs> Brett actually <laughs> had the scissors, <laughs> and my daughter's back <laughs> was about that long. Oh. And it was he was not your favorite person at that time. <laughs> no, 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 three no, no, pairs no. of little eyes <laughs> that were just you know, they knew what they had done, and it was the day before school picked oh, <laughs> That's always how that works. And you out. still love him. <laughs> Absolutely. <Yes. laughs> so enough about that. No, no, <laughs> Moving no. on. No. Let's talk about your art and the career that you've had. I mean, when I, when you know, you guys started what you started, I know, with baskets is what I remember. And mm -hmm. then it just you kind of evolved and evolved into home decor and, and even did. now working with, with Bronson Pinchot, which we'll get to in a little bit. So mm -hmm. tell us kind of how all this started for you. It started because I wanted to be able to stay at home mm -hmm. and earn a living. Mm -hmm. So I just invented this little giftware company on the kitchen mm -hmm. table and it grew. Mm -hmm. And the next thing we knew, we had a nationwide database of customers and we were pulling people in off the streets to go to work for us. And it ended up being a 20 year endeavor. Now, Beth, let me start. Let me stop you there. Sure. So she's an artistic genius because it just doesn't start <laughs> with, I just wanted to have a little business and stay at home. You're, you're first of all, an artistic genius. And you just, you know, it, it just kind of spiraled from there. So not everybody can be well, what you are. <laughs> there was a lot of hard work. Right. And there were a lot of late nights involved. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I made it sound a whole lot simpler. <laughs> but I love that she's humble. Yeah, but anyway, that segued into the art licensing portion, which was probably the last 15 or 20 years. That's a lot of hand painting and very hard work. Those images are taken and placed onto products that turn into bath textiles, wallpaper, fabric, dinnerware, you name it. So that was sort of where I was when I decided to create a little blog and have some fun mm -hmm. celebrating the South. Well, we're going to show some pictures yes. of some of your home decor, and then when we come back, we'll uh, talk about the blog and sure. what's going on now. Okay, all of that when we come back.
And now we're back with the artistic genius, Miss Beth Yarbrough. Oh my gosh, you are just an amazing artist, Bryce. I mean, you said when you go to different stores that you're amazed because you'll see something that you recognize it's recognizable artwork. artwork, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so neat. That's my my neighbor, my old neighbor, and and, and friends. So that's really cool. And now you've kind of forwarded that and segued into kind of doing all things Southern with a blog called Southern Voice. No, which wait, is, wait, wait, wait. I want to hear. I'm a star stalker. Okay. <laughs> so I want to hear about her star power with, with Bronson yes. Pinchot. Uh -huh. So tell us about yes. Bronson Pinchot, and I'm sure you can give a little bit of um, insight into who he is, because I'm sure yes. a lot of us well, do know or will yeah, recognize him. Um, Bronson has a 30-year career, probably 35-year career now as an actor and an entertainer. He was Balky Bartokamus on <laughs> the long-running yep. ABC sitcom Perfect Strangers mm -hmm. and has appeared in a lot of movies, Beverly Hills Cop. He was Serge in Beverly Hills <laughs> yeah. Cop, one of those iconic roles. Um, so he's done some serious roles too. I've seen him like in very serious. Like Law and Order and things like that Absolutely. where he's played some really in serious fact, roles. he's working, he's shooting a Netflix series right oh, now. Nice. So. And you guys are besties and he's probably going to be at the Christmas party, right? <laughs> 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 that I invited myself to. So, so tell us how the, how the two of you connected and what project you've got going well, on. Well, it was a happy accident. We, I had just launched Southern Voice, and Bronson had a television show on DIY called mm -hmm. the Bronson Pinchot Project. Mm -hmm. um, he was looking for old houses to renovate, and there was a house in the Charlotte area, and that is how we met. And quickly discovered that we had a lot in common as designers. Mm -hmm and as old house enthusiasts. And so within a year, we had launched Bronson Pinchot Designs, which sort of tied back into the industry I was already connected mm -hmm. with. Yeah. And That's began, neat when two things meet yeah, like that, it magic really. happens, yeah. And we began working with, he, he has a database of um, antique textiles and oh, wow. engravings. And I knew enough about my industry to know how to take those and translate yeah. that into product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history. And I know we saw a picture earlier of some beautiful um, like dinnerware. Mm -hmm. And that's part of your that collaboration one, with that. Yeah, that's one illustration of that actual document fabric was 250 years old, wow. made in France. And it was oh, multicolored. Wow. And we converted it into a blue and white pattern, mm -hmm. put coordinates with it. And that was turned into dinnerware. It's been turned into paper products, party goods. How neat. That, that's just neat how you never think of an yeah. artist's work the way it can spread out in different channels mm -hmm. that can go through the industry. That's, that's incredible. And what I think is pretty incredible, too, is that you guys are neighbors and just ordinary people that are extraordinary, but we wouldn't know about <laughs> right. it until yeah. we, like, they're a guest yeah. on the show, and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh. She is so amazing, mm. all the things that you've done and the lives that you've touched. I'm and just lucky. Oh, no, you're that's talented. It. And it, blessed, but talented. Well, thank you. I think when all three of those come together, that's that's what good stuff happens. So um, yeah. you do have a blog now that you're working on it. And mm -hmm. I love following it because you share, Beth is a great storyteller. And when you follow the blog, you read these stories. And I, just recently you posted one about um, your mother and father and, and yeah. their, their meeting. And you're pulled right into it. like, And it's just, it's neat to, to read something. And no, especially when you know it's real, you know, and there's yeah. and there's a story behind it. But you just get right into it and with the Southern charm and, and just, it's it's wonderful. And then the next day you'll see this recipe for brownies. There's old fashioned, oh. and it's like, I mean, it really is. It's neat to, for someone to be able to talk about the South, but incorporating your story into it and all that. And um, it just excites people again. And, and I think, I'm sure you've got people that follow that blog every age too so you're introducing people to it and you're also stirring memories for people that absolutely. have lived it absolutely every age but also um a lot of displaced southerners follow yeah. that blog yeah and comment and say oh my goodness you're taking me home thank you so much that I'm is so homesick that's amazing. And, and that's wonderful and so yeah. the blog is becoming a website which is southernvoice.net correct southernvoice.net and um so you need to check that out it's also on Facebook is the same name? Yes, Southern Beth Voice. Yarbrough's Southern Voice. Beth Yarbrough's Southern Voice. So check that out and, you know, get a little taste of the Absolutely. South and, and history and architecture and photography and all that. And, and everything that she does, I feel yeah. like maybe she's going to be a novelist, the way you're saying that. She tells a story <laughs> it's, and then great story just too. braces yep. you in. Yep. So, so we're so See excited. what's next for you. Really? Yeah, so yeah. thanks for coming and talking about the set tonight. Me. We Thank feel you. so... Just super blessed to have you in, in the presence <laughs> of our of our company tonight. Yes, absolutely. So check it out, Beth Yarborough. She is one amazing genius artist and 
You talked with her tonight right here on The Deborah Kennedy Show.